Hello everyone, this is Rafi the PC Doctor. Today I'm going to show you the new project which is called MoodQ. And on this project we're going to use the servo motors like this one here. Um, servo motors are completely different from the normal DC motors. Um, servo motors are special type of motor that don't spin around in a circle but move to a specific position and stay there until you tell them to move again. Um, servos uh, usually only rotate 180 degrees that's uh, one half of a circle. A servo motors expect a number of pulses that tell them what angle to move to. The pulses always come at the same time intervals but um, the width varies between 1000 and 2000 microseconds while it's possible to write code to generate these pulses the Arduino software comes with a library that allows you to easily control the motor um, as you can see here hash include servo dot header and this is the servo library um, because the servo only rotates 180 degrees and analog input goes from 0 to 1023 you'll need to use a function called map to change the scale of the values coming from the potentiometer and we're gonna make that from 0 to 180 or from 1 to 179 um, potentiometer this one the white one potentiometer uh, is a type of uh, voltage divider as you turn the knob um, you can change the ratio of the voltage between the middle pin and the power you can read uh, this change in an analog input the middle pin will control the position of the servo motor now the servo as we can see here has, has three wires coming out the black one is the ground the red one is the power and the white one is the control line that will receive information from the Arduino um, as we can see the white one is connected with this white cable which is goes to analog digital pin number nine this one um, the servo has, uh, as we said turns 180 degrees now when the servo starts to move it draws more current than if it were already in motion this will cause a dip in the voltage on your board um, by placing a 100 microfarad here this one capacitor uh, cross power and ground right next to the male headers you can smooth out any voltage changes that may occur and you can also place this capacitor across the power and ground going into your potentiometer here um, these are called decoupling capacitors this one and this one because they reduce or decouple changes caused by the components from the rest of the circuit now implementing this circuit um, this is the potentiometer and this is the this is the servo motor and this is the potentiometer when we turn the knob the hand of the motor will move just like this we are turning the knob and the hand is turning just like this and we can choose the degree that we want as we can see 180 degrees yeah to check the degree that we are rotating to we can go to the Arduino IDE and open the serial port or the serial monitor here as we can see the potential potential value and the angle now if we rotate the potentiometer we can see the changes occur this is the angle and the potentiometer value now yeah this is a 9 degrees to 180 going back to zero that's all the Moody Q
Thanks for watching.